your child is beginning to learn to look after themselves and solve life's little problems and it's all part of growing up. Children need time to master these everyday skills and it's important that we provide opportunities to encourage learning where there is more time available. Summertime or weekends are better times to focus on practicing these skills. Some children need tasks broken down into steps or just to focus on one goal at a time. This helps to keep children motivated and foster a sense of achievement. Some important skills that your child will need when transitioning into primary school are skills like opening and closing buttons, zipping up their coat, being able to pack their own school bag, being able to clean and wipe themselves after using the toilet and being able to wash and dry their hands. Children develop many skills when they engage in tasks like dressing or packing their school bag. Fine motor skills are developed as children learn to fasten buttons or zip up their coat or their school bag. Gross motor skills are developed as children begin to dress, balance on one leg and pull up their pants or trousers. Cognitive skills are developed as children begin to sequence what piece of clothing goes on first and what goes on next. And also remembering items that are needed for them to bring to and from school. These skills all help children in the future during academic tasks. Practicing these skills over the summer months help children to feel confident and prepared when they are transitioning into primary school. First, sit down and get your socks and shoes ready. Then, using two hands, Hold the sock at each side and pull. Again, hold the sock at each side and pull. Fix the toes if you need to. Next, open the Velcro on your shoe Hold with two hands and push your foot in. Pull the Velcro closed. Again, open the Velcro. Hold the shoe with two hands. Push your foot in and close the Velcro. When closing your buttons, slow down and take your time. Using your two hands together, get Tommy Thumb and Peter Pointer ready. These two fingers work as a team when we open and close our buttons. So use Tommy Thumb and Peter Pointer to post the button into the hole and with your other hand, get ready to pull the button into the hole. Start at the bottom, post, and pull, post and pull. Top buttons can be tricky and maybe don't need to be closed. When opening your buttons, push the button back into the hole. First, Put your arm into the sleeve, then put your other arm into the sleeve. Hold the zip with your two hands. Push the zip in. Wait, take your time until you hear the click and then pull the zip up. When you're ready to open the zip, Pull the zip all the way down and take your arms out of the sleeves. First, I pull the jumper down over my head slowly and carefully. Next, I push my right arm into the sleeve. Then, I push my left arm into the sleeve. 
and I pull my jumper down. When we pack our school bag, big books go at the back and smaller things like our pencil case, lunch box and drink go at the front. This means we have lots of space. Then close your bag, zipping it over using your two hands to hold and pull. Practicing skills like opening and closing your lunch box opening and closing your pencil case can be really helpful. So first, open your lunchbox using two hands and close. Next, try opening your pencil case. And packing in your colouring pencils. Using two hands, close the zip on your pencil case. It is important before your child starts school that he or she is able to wipe and clean themselves after they use the toilet. Here we've given a visual to help you to support your child to become independent with this skill. The steps include getting the toilet paper ready, tearing the piece of paper off, folding the paper in their hand so that it feels comfortable, reaching round so that they can clean or wipe their own bum, putting the paper into the toilet and number five, flushing the toilet. This skill is very important along with your child being able to wash and dry their hands independently. It's really important that we wash our hands well. So first of all, we push the soap into our hands, then we turn on the tap, rubbing our two hands together really well so they're nice and soapy, and then rinse under the water, rubbing your two hands together and getting in between your fingers. Then use the towel to dry your hands. <laughs> 